Well, President Trump is coming to Chicago next week. One person interested in that visit is Patty Blagojevich. After all, the president is the one person who can free her husband, the ex-governor. The president has recently been silent about commuting his prison sentence, but as CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov reports, that doesn't mean it isn't going to happen. The president will be at Trump Tower Monday for a fundraiser before a speaking engagement. And while there are no plans for Patty Blagojevich to meet with him directly, a family spokesperson says efforts are ongoing to keep the commutation matter on his radar. I'm in direct communication with Jared Kushner. Kushner is President Trump's son-in-law. Mark Vargas is currently the connection between the White House and Rod and Patty Blagojevich. There is a overwhelming sense of gratefulness to the president. For Vargas says his tweets and Air Force One suggestions. I think it's enough, seven years. That he may commute the rest of Blagojevich's 14-year prison sentence for corruption, suggestions the president began making more than a year ago. But why is he grateful being that the president is saying something but doing nothing in that regard? Well, it's all, it's all about timing. Since May 2018, Patty Blagojevich has occasionally appeared on Fox News and only on Fox News to plead her husband's case. I think any wife who wants to see her husband come back home would go on a, on a uh, consistently on a news channel and on a network that the president watches. What about addressing the thought some people have that she's pandering to him? Well, you know, people can think what they want, but again, at the end of the day, she has been an incredible wife. Vargas says she still talks to her husband every day. He says the governor even dipped his toe back into politics last year, writing this letter to Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell in support of the Prison Reform First Step Act, which passed in December. Vargas says he's never spoken directly to the president, but communicates through Kushner. Jared and all of our correspondence and, and interaction, he has been very, very supportive, and he has actually taken letters of support, and he has passed that along to the president. Some lawmakers like Illinois Senator Dick Durbin and former U.S. Attorney Eric Holder have come out publicly saying Blagojevich's sentence is too long. But some Illinois Republican congressmen have written a letter to the president opposing the commutation. It is not a subject expected to be discussed publicly when the president is in town Monday. Outside Trump Tower, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.